says that I'm going to have my baby and I'm going to get it all cleaned up and it's going to be laying down and you're going to want to tag it. You're going to want to weigh it. And you're going to go and get some tools and when you come back my baby's going to be gone because I'm going to go hide it. Tuesday afternoon, back to work after, yeah, that's right, I said afternoon. Back to work after four days off. Last night was rough, Diana didn't sleep, Emerson was up a thousand times, Neve had witching hour, I was driving around with her. So got up this morning, decided to let Diana sleep in, and so I took Emerson out for the morning, and then Diana had a nap, yeah. Okay, so heading in, the reason that I'm going in at all today, we have a cow-calf producer meeting. So we're putting on a huge meeting today. I think there's 100 people in attendance. We have a big lineup of speakers, and that is what today's vlog will be about. Okay, I'm not doing any medicine today. It's, today's the weirdest day. Give me a break, it's club soda. So I spent the morning, nope, not morning. So I spent the afternoon doing, everybody keeps telling me I look like I spent the morning, oh, I spent the afternoon getting ready for a cow-calf consultation meeting that I have tomorrow at a producer's place, heading out to a hotter egg colony. I'm heading to the cow-calf seminar now. Is starting in one minute. We're still waiting for some stragglers to come in, but it should be good. Good turnout. Airway. We know now that generally that's not true. Any liquid that does come out when a calf's upside down is probably from the stomach. One hundred and five dollars under the national average. So that is what the type of information that you can get when you aggregate a large amount of information. He's arguing because she still has it on her back. So because of this popularity, um, like anything, it's so popular that now we're starting to get into some resistant trends. And this is really important to note with these pro and mechanisms because studies now are saying that they're only about 20 to 7% effective depending on the herd. So, <laughs> thank you, Megan. <laughs> So Megan touched on all the right points, uh, and I'll just be honest with you, the, the reason that we're getting this summer student, and we did last year and this year, is to show you guys the value of the fecal egg count reduction test. So you can see that how effective your cows were out on pasture, how you could use that as a tool to make that decision on whether or not you need to treat on pasture, and then looking at how effective it was. It's, it's hard to make a decision if you don't know what's going on in your herd. They vaccinated for VRSD, and you can see they were shedding moderate amounts of vaccine, and those calves that got VRSD colostrum and got vaccinated with VRSD. They don't get viremic. They, they tend to replicate only in the respiratory tract. That virus in itself tends to be on fire. That was in a controlled setting. Yeah, they were that old though. They were rounding age cap. So the tool we use to make this comparison is called a model. And in this case, we use the Holos model. Now, a model is basically a simplified version. So I'll finish the cow-calf meeting. It's about 10 o'clock. It is 10 o'clock and I am heading home. Really good meeting. We had over 100 producers come out, which was amazing. Really good set of speakers overall and finish right on time. I'm gonna do it. Okay, that's it for the vlog. <laughs>